Don't forget this time. And there's the question that's sent in. And it's 6.1, so it's plug and chug. Order of operations. So let's go ahead and write it down. And my whiteboard. Where's my whiteboard? There we go. So there's the formula or the equation. T is equal to 2H squared plus 70H plus 30. And they want to know, find the length of time. Length of time is T. Find T if the humidity is 0.5. So that means you got to plug in 0.5. Now, you do not need a calculator because I don't think y'all need a calculator to find out what half of 70 is. And 0.5 raised to the second five power is 2. So I don't think you need to, you know, to do that. So T is equal to 2 times, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, plus 70 times 0.5 plus 30. And that's going to be T is equal to 2 times 2.5. Y'all check me on that. 0.25 or 2.5? 0.5 and 0.5 is 2.5. No, it's 0.25. Check for me. Was 0.5 raised to the second power? 0.25? Okay. So I'm going to put that like that, so that way I can, 2 times 1 forward, I can do that in my head and not depend on the calculator, plus 35, plus 30. And then half of, or a fourth of 2 is 1 what? 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So T is equal to 0.5 plus 65. And that's 65.5 minutes or whatever. 65.5 minutes. Is it in minutes? Somebody read it. Where is it? Yeah, minutes. So it should be 65.5. So that's what? An hour and five, six minutes? An hour and six minutes. So if the humidity, which down here it usually gets around 0.5, 50% humidity. If you hang out your clothes, it's going to take an hour for them to dry. And you feel good about yourself. Let's type it in and see if we know what we're doing. And we do. We feel good about ourselves. And I can tell you where people mess this problem up. Anybody want to take a guess? All right, there. They put that. They put that decimal in there, and they just go bonkers. The easiest thing to do is put one half. What's one half times one half? One fourth. I mean, you you don't have to use a calculator for this problem. Okay. And that's. The only question I got, so that means y'all know what y'all are doing. But I'm gonna keep on going. Capiche? Oh, let me give y'all some good news. Of course, y'all will think it's bad news. Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all will think it's great news. No class. Wednesday. No. Yeah, I know that y'all gonna cry. <laughs> but I will upload videos Wednesday or before Wednesday on what I'm going to cover Wednesday. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. Yes, sir. On what I 
will cover Wednesday. You still are responsible for the homework that I cover Wednesday. I'm not going to, when I, when I come back Friday, I'm going to continue on. So you have to watch those videos unless you already know the information. And if you already know the information, just do the homework. Okay? I will send out a email. Okay? I have to take my, my mama to the doctor. She has two doctor's appointments. And with people acting like they're important in road raging, I don't let my mama drive in town. Because then something's going to happen and I'm going to have to confront the person and I'll probably hit them upside the head and then I'll go to jail. So it's best that I just take her wherever she needs to go. Okay? And I didn't know she had two appointments and it's right at 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock and I'm not going to try to do classes. So if I hope y'all won't call my boss and complain, but I know somebody will. So I'm going to have to let her know too. So anyway, the whole point is the homework will be uploaded. It's already there. Um, and whatever I don't cover today, I'll send, say in the email what, I could, what I'm going to post. And therefore, whatever section that is, if it, says, if it says blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah is on your outline, then that's the section, whatever section number that is, that's what I covered. That's why the outline is so important that some of y'all still have it printed out. So anyway, that takes care of that. So let's go to the handy dandy. I think I have, yeah, 6.3 pulled up. And that's what we're going over today because I covered 6.1 and 6.2. I covered 6.1 very well. So everybody should be able to do equations. But I want you to write these down. You don't have to write the chart. Just write down the, these are the phrases, the magical phrases that you need to look for in a uh, word problem. The only thing that I want to make a notice of, or let you notice, or make a note of, sorry, is this one right here. And remember, you always, when you see less than, you always crisscross. A number is x, and 4 goes here, and then less than is minus. When you see less than, always crisscross. Okay, so if it says... Five less than two times a number. If it says that, you crisscross it. Two times a number is two x minus five. Whenever you have the word less than, unless you're dealing with equality, inequalities. Right now, we're not dealing with inequalities. You don't have to worry about less than. If you see less than and 6.3 homework, you need to do the crisscross. And the, the number that you don't know will go first. And the number that you do know always goes second. The minus symbol. Why? Because subtraction is not unitive. 2 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 2. So you can't, you can't just alternate them and say, okay, it doesn't matter which order. Division's the same way. You can't do division that way either. So but we're not doing too much division in this section. So 6 more than a number. Technically, you're supposed to crisscross that one. More than and less than. But more than doesn't matter because... Addition is what? Addition is commutative. 2 plus 3 is the same as 2. So it really doesn't matter with more than. Just less than. A number increased by 3. X plus 3. A number decreased by 9. 
Okay? That one you don't have to crisscross because this one's X and this one's minus and this is 9. Okay? You don't have to worry about the crisscross with that. Twice a number, multiplication. Twice A. I tell students, make that a big multiplication system. Twice a number. And then four times a number. What do you do? You make that a big multiplication symbol. You want to make a dot, or if you want to make an asterisk, or if you want to make an X. Okay? Just change that A to a multiplication symbol. I don't know who that is making noise, but I wish you'd hurry up and get through. Okay? Dang, the microphones on these cameras are extra, extra sensitive. Sounds like a avalanche. All right, next. Not fussing, just making a note. There it is again. Okay, decrease by, you just go along with it. Less than, there's that less than again. So let's use the crisscross. Here's the crisscross. Three times minus four. Again, whenever you see the less than, you always do the crisscross. Said that at least how many times now? Seven times? Somebody will still screw them. Somebody always can break an anvil with a banana. It's not raining today, so that means we're going to have a tornado or a snowstorm. Which one is it? It's supposed to, it's supposed to rain the next like three days. Tornado. <laughs> When's it supposed to rain again? Do what? Somebody said it's supposed to rain. What the, what's oh, yeah, it's supposed to rain for like the next three days, apparently. Why does it do that? Why does it like get really warm and then I don't know. rain? In because we're all going to die in 12 years. you right. Mm -hmm. That's why. I don't want to die when I'm 30. There's a glacier outside. There's a glacier. We live a life a little bit more, then we can talk. But that's all right. Bernie's going to take care of us. <laughs> Tom Bernie's going to stop global warming. That. And he's going to give everything <laughs> to you for free. <laughs> all you like, got to do is just like, sit and the wait the for it to get Our nation is climate change. <laughs> I'm like, We're going to die in 12 years if Bernie's not elected. <laughs> okay. Here's some more. I was like, yeah, that's a now notice it doesn't say less than here. It says decreased. Decreased is okay. Decreased, you just write it. The only word you got to watch out for is less than. Write those three down. I'm always now, just those These are just key words that you need to watch out for. And then Another, another key word that you need to watch out for is the letter, is the word is. Does anybody know what the word is means? Equals. Is means equals most of the time. So I'm going to let you write those three down and you can, you can pull these up, okay? You can pull up and that's what you Google. Keywords for word problems. And when you pull up keywords for word problems, you're going to see all these. Question, right, complaint. All right, I'm going to move on. Oh my gosh. Four? I thought it was just three, but now it's four. All right, go ahead and write those down. Miss Karen and Miss Carolina, can you see the board okay? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, I can. Got me. 
curious to see what the weather's going to do now. Might have to go out and buy milk and bread. <laughs> oh. oh my God. 80%, 60%, 50%. But we're going to miss the cold weather, though. It's supposed to get 31 Thursday, and but it's 50% chance. So we're going to miss. We're going. To, I still say we're going to have an ice storm. <laughs> we haven't had an ice storm yet. At the least, South Carolina always has first. an ice storm so people can run in the ditch. We <laughs> always do. It's a... No, it's cool. We have to pay for all this nice weather we're having. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we have, we have a tornado. Have you noticed that nobody has said that there was a tornado in Anderson? Down there. Have they, have they, have they, has the Weather Association established that there was a tornado in Anderson? Yeah, it was near Hartwell. Oh, it was? Did they, did they actually do it? Yeah, but it touched. It, it, yeah, didn't it touch? Yeah, it touched down. I think. No, did they actually? Did the weather, the, the National Weather Service, actually say it touched down? I got alerts on my phone for it. <laughs> well, usually that's why, because usually WYFF takes a bunch of debris and throws it across the parking lot, and they say <laughs> it touched down here. That's usually what happens. Uh, and I think usually, it down. everybody waits until three days later. The National Weather Service has not declared that there was a. They have to come and look at the damage and declare if it was a wind shear or if it was a. Or, or, or what is it called? An ultra burst or something like that? Or if it was a small tornado. And I mean, from the pictures I saw, it looked like it was. Yeah, the like, rain real was like it. Scary. Was that on WYFF or was that on. Facebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Facebook. Okay. Well, it was like I can, I can show you a picture of a cow there. flying. And, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. But a wind shear or a somebody's looking at it. Something called burst. I can't remember what it's called. They can cause just as much damage, but it's in a small area. Mm, or a sure tornado I'm actually sure. travels. That's pretty good. I mean, it's possible then. All right, I'm just kidding. I didn't really kidding. care enough to keep up with it. We're just so, we're just so melodramatic in Podunk, Anderson, and Greenville, and Oconee and Pickens, that when something happens, everybody just goes stark raving crazy. And I was sleeping through the whole thing. My phone woke me up like three times with like the weather alerts from like the government. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm surprised <laughs> your apartment you didn't go up in the air like... Like freaking Dorothy, you know? I mean, the way, I mean, just the way these, these really phone funny. apps, oh my gosh. And I'm going to tell you something. Do not subscribe to WYFF on your phone. You're talking about your phone blowing up. My gosh. I did that one time when the version apps came out, and I canceled that thing like 30 minutes after I got My phone like rang 110 times. My good gosh, it's just hold on green. Anyway, read the problem carefully. And y'all know, y'all have seen all this. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by going through this, but we're going to get to... Okay, Jaina purchased a copy for $2,300 and a one-year maintenance protection plan that costs two... Okay, when you see a problem like this, Oh, shoot. Highlight. Yep. Okay. I don't know why I'm not getting cooperation here. There. Highlight. Yellow. This right here, and you see a plan like that, and you see that $2,300, and this... Highlight those three things because you've got a down payment. That's what this is called right here, technically. Down payment. So you're going to have to put that in the actual formula. Dana purchased a car for $300 down payment and a one year maintenance or lease for 52 cents per mile. Okay, you might see something like that. 
or you're parking in a parking garage for five dollars and each additional hour after the first hour you pay a dollar seventy five per hour all right I'm giving you three problems there this is how you do it the down payment goes first twenty three hundred and a one-year maintenance protection plan and means plus two cent per copy per in this application or this context means multiplication because you're paying two cents per copy if Jana spends $2,626, how many copies did she pay for? How many hours did she stay in the garage building? How many miles did she put on her leased car? Does everybody see this application? What does it look like? Looks like the Walmart equation, doesn't it? Total, plus or minus, the total times X or the original price plus or minus the percentage price is equal to the total. It's the Walmart equation. So, what do we do? Well, I'm going to subtract 2300 because I added X by itself. That's going to give me 0 0.02x equals, what does this come out to be, 326? Yes, sir. And somebody, get your calculators out because you need them. Unless you're rain man. What is 326 divided by 0 0.02? 16,300. 200 or 300? 300. Three. So she got 16,000 copies. That's the type of question I'll ask you on a test. Now, that's one type. It's a plan. I want you to write down plan, lease, parking hours. Because that's how you set it up. And you should feel good about yourself. Pendleton, did y'all say something? Wow. I think they said I think they said something. You might hear the people next door. They're being really loud. Yeah, yeah they're uh, silly. Probably is. <laughs> we'll take credit for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because Pendleton, heaven forbid Pendleton say it. And that's what they got right there. Look at there. I used X, you use N, I say tomato. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> your effort. Like I appreciate it. You know. Jesus. And of course, Pendleton. Settle down, Pendleton. Hey, we need to third. Okay. Mark Four Construction Company purchased 100 acres of land to be split into three parcels of land. Okay. First of all, when you see this type of question, you're going to say. One plus two plus three is equal to 100. So that takes care of all of that. One parcel of land will be three times as large. So this partial will be three times as large as the other partials. If the other partials don't have anything beside them, they're just what? X. What's three plus one plus one? So five X is equal to 100. Divide by five. X is equal to 20. Is that, are you done? 
No. One partial is 60 acres. The other partial is 20 acres. And the other partial is 20 acres. This is your answer. And you get it by plugging it into those three. Now that may not be on my test, but that right there, along with the first one we did, that one is, you can bet your bottom dollar, that would be on a standardized test if you have to take one in the future. Okay. Two parcels contain 20, and the third will contain 60. Whatever his name is, that's Javier, 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 is building a rectangular sandbox for his children. Oh, isn't he nice? <laughs> he has 34 feet of wood to use. That means he's got perimeter of 34 feet. Okay? So, right here, you already know the perimeter. He's got 34 feet of wood to use. So, he has perimeter is equal to 34. The perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2L plus 2W. W is from around here. Okay? What should the dimensions of the sandbox be if he wants the length to be three foot greater than, I always use, when I say greater than or less than, I do the crisscross. Now you don't have to do it on plus or greater than, but I do on both of them. Okay, so what am I going to do with L is equal to X plus 3 or W plus 3? What am I going to do with that equation? You're going to plug it into the original equation, Hubert. That's right, class. Plug it in right there. So do it. I'll, I'll write it down for you, but I'm going to let you do it. So 34 is equal to two parentheses plus two W. I have to say W because if I say W, some people don't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lambs on. So that would be W plus three. Powdersville. I live in Belton. Down here, that's what they said. <laughs> so distribute that two and work it out. If you can't do it, then that means you're a failure. Good job. I got an idea why y'all are working. <coughs> Let's learn a little bit about something besides math. Let's learn how to say Ukrainian translator. Let's see how to say you suck in Expanding y'all's vocabulary. 
should learn it in Russian since you're always blaming the Russians for everything. <laughs> you can tell them they said. Be smokish. <laughs> no, I didn't say it right. Be <laughs> smokish. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, can we please let's do. Uh-huh. You yeah. are a loser. T nevdaka. T nevdaka. Hey, nevdaka. I see. Let's go to Russia. <laughs> Russian will be like gonna hit you in the mouth. <laughs> It'll be the same. Because Russian is to Ukrainian like Spanish is to Latin, or Latin is to Spain. It's, it's, it's similar. You take language? What do you mean? I got to do English. English. There we go. Let's go with you are a loser. See? Same thing. Except it's V. Yeah. V. Yeah. V. Yeah. You should say Yeah. You should say Yeah. Yeah. that in right there. You suck. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty long. That's pretty long. <laughs> She's taking pictures of me. She's gonna turn me in. <laughs> She's gonna turn me into my boss. You wait and see. <laughs> She's a Russian spy. <laughs> uh, yes, he was showing us how to curse in Russian. That's what they would say. I didn't dare to curse. We could do a curse word, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> But if you don't uh, say it, you really do anything wrong. Yeah, true. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> if you don't say you the curse word, then you didn't do anything. We'll live in a ditch. <laughs> Let's see how the Russians say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what, what is it? It's got a Z H I T there, so hey, that's close enough. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it must be live in a ditch. I don't know. <laughs> Probably means live. <laughs> okay. All right, we got we've had fun, so somebody's gonna complain. <laughs> Sorry. The people Something really that I like to do every kind of once thing? in a while. <laughs> okay, so there's our there's our problem that we started with. Do you really have people complain about stuff like that? That's crazy. I told y'all about taking the taking the afternoon class out to eat, didn't I? Yeah. No. Yeah. I had five or six students <laughs> in an afternoon class, and it ended at 4:45. So I said, you know, the last day of class, let's just go eat. I'll pay for y'all's food if you want to go. If not, you can go home. I said, and you can they come, play? You can go home. And I'm not going to pay for your drinks because we're going to a Mexican restaurant. And if they got drunk, <laughs> ran the creek. I didn't want to be responsible. But, and by the time, it's three miles away from here. By the time I got to the restaurant, I got a phone call from my boss saying that I was making my students go eat with me. One of the pe- one of the persons didn't show up. She called my boss and said that I was making my students eat with me. Can we eat with you? Oh I will not complain. <laughs> I'll pay my own food too. I was trying to hang out. That's the rule. Yeah. What is the number one rule of life? There's always what? It's always one. There's always one person that's going to screw it up for everybody. <laughs> that's true. Right. That, that is so true. true. Let's do that one person. Okay, so we one. got 34. <laughs> Your rate rate to professor rating is really good, though. People enjoy two, the class. What? I've had like a big Our class is huge, though. Yes. Our class is So that's going to be 34 <laughs> is equal to 2W plus <laughs> 6. Thank you. Plus 2W, and that's 34 
is equal to 4W plus 6. 34 minus 6 is 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. It doesn't matter how big. 7 is equal to W. And what is the length equal to? Length is equal to W plus 3. So somebody tell me what the length is equal to. Put 7 in, 10. So there is your answer. Your width of your box is 7, and the base or whatever, its length is 10. The width is 7. That's another standardized test question. Width is 7. And you plug 7 back into your original equation, which is, I'm sorry, there's the original equation, W plus 3, I'm sorry, W plus 3, and you plug that 3, that 7, back into that equation. Kim is selling her homemade jewelry at a craft show. Determine the cost of a necklace, this is the Walmart equation, y'all don't even, there's my... I know some of y'all are starting to go into convulsions. You don't need to now, but uh, let's do this question. Walmart equation. Is X plus or minus percentage X is equal to the total? And I'm going to let y'all do it. X plus or minus percentage X is equal to total. And you just have to decide... After this question, y'all can go into convulsions, okay? Okay, so Kim is selling her homemade jewelry at a craft show. Determine the cost of a necklace before tax if the total is what? 34.56. What kind of tax? 0.08x. And what is taxes and tips? What are they always? Added or subtracted? Mm -hmm. Added. So 1.08x is equal to 34.56, and somebody divide by 1.08. <coughs> what do you get? Thirty-two. And I hope everybody is punching on their calculator and not your phone, Pendleton. Just want to make sure, because I haven't finished yet. Is everybody finished? Did everybody get 32? Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording, and now y'all can go through y'all's convulsions.